Factsverse presents 11 Handy Math Hacks They Didn't Teach You in School Number 1. Convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit Many people don't know how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. It's not as complicated as most people think, though. If you see a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius, you'd multiply that number by 2 and then add 30. If you multiply 22 by 2, the answer would be 44. If you add 30 to the temperature, it would be 74 degrees Fahrenheit. The formula? Celsius temperature, multiply by 2, add 30. To convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, you'd do the opposite. Subtract 30 from the Fahrenheit temperature and then divide that number by 2. So Fahrenheit temperature minus 30 divided by 2. Converting the two isn't really that difficult. Number 2. Multiplying large numbers in your head When most people need to multiply large numbers, they often reach for a pen and paper or for the calculator on their phone. If you struggle with multiplication, there are ways that you can multiply large numbers in your head. The secret is to break down the large numbers into smaller numbers. For example, if you need to solve 97 times 96 in your head, you break it down by subtracting both numbers by 100. So 100 minus 97 would be 3. 100 minus 96 would be 4. When you add those two numbers together, you get 7. When you take the 7 and subtract that by 100 like you did the other two numbers, the answer is 93, which is the first half of your answer. Next, take the 3 and 4 from the other two answers and multiply them. The answer is 12, which is the second half of your answer, making the whole answer 9,312. Number 3. Using the butterfly method to add and subtract fractions Adding and subtracting fractions can be difficult if the denominators aren't the same. Luckily, the butterfly method can help. If you're trying to add 3 fourths plus 2 fifths, you would circle the numbers diagonally, so the 3 and the 5 would be circled and the 2 and the 4 would be circled. Next, multiply the numbers that you circled. 5 times 3 equals 15 and 4 times 2 equals 8. Next, multiply the two bottom numbers. 4 times 5 equals 20. Finally, add the top two answers. 15 plus 8 equals 23, and you have the 20 from the bottom numbers, giving you 23 twentieths. Finally, simplify that number down to 1 and 3 twentieths. When you figure it out this way, you don't need to find the common denominator. Number 4. Multiplying any number by 11. You don't need a calculator to multiply a number by 11. If the number is between 1 and 9, just add the same number to it. 11 times 9 is 99. If you're multiplying large numbers by 11, it's just as simple. If you're multiplying 32 times 11, separate the 3 and the 2. Next, add the 3 and the 2, which equal 5. Finally, put the 5 in the middle of the 3 and the 2. The answer? 352. Number 5 learning your nine tables easily. Your nine tables don't need to be as hard as you might think. Start by writing the multiplication problems in a row. For example, nine times one equals, nine times two equals, nine times three equals, nine times four equals, and so on. Next, write the numbers zero through nine going down next to each problem. Next to those numbers, write the numbers going backward, nine through zero. It will fill in all of the answers for you. Eventually, you should memorize the nine tables, but for now, this little trick works great. Number six, remembering what pi equals. Most people struggle to remember that pi equals 3.1415926. If you can't remember what pi equals, you just need to remember one simple phrase. May I have a large container of coffee? The number of letters in each word corresponds to the numbers in pi. May has three letters, therefore the first letter of pi is three. The word I has one number. Have has four numbers, and so on. As long as you can remember the phrase, may I have a large container of coffee, you should have no problem figuring out what pi equals. Number seven, the reverse Zorro in math. If you want to divide fractions and whole numbers, but you're not that good with math, you can use visuals to help. Start by using the bottom number of the fraction and divide it by the whole number. If you were trying to figure out 3 of 24, divide 24 into 4. The answer is 6. 
Next, multiply the 6 by the top number of the fraction, and the answer is 18. It's more simple than it really needs to be. Number 8. Using your fingers for multiplying by 9. You can do more than add and subtract using your fingers. You can also easily multiply two numbers. You simply need to assign each finger on your hands a number. Holding your hands facing you, the thumb on your left hand would be 1, the index finger would be 2, and so on. If you want to figure out 9 times 4, you would fold your fourth finger down, which would be the ring finger of your left hand. To the left of your folded finger, there are three fingers, which would be the tens. Next, count the fingers after the folded finger, and there are six. The answer would be 36. Number 9. Figuring out percentages. Figuring out percentages is not as difficult as you might think. You can easily figure out the answer in your head. If you want to figure out 40% of 300, you simply drop the last number of each number. So you just need to figure out 4 times 30, which is 120. It's that simple. Number 10. The greater than, less than trick. Of the 11 handy math hacks they didn't teach you in school, this is by far the most helpful one. Everybody can tell which number is higher in a greater than, less than problem. Most people, though, confuse the two signs. Some are not sure which way each sign should face. You don't even need to know which sign is which. If you have this problem, 41 to 54, you need to know if it's greater than or less than. Simply point the opening of the symbol to the larger number, like an alligator trying to eat. The problem would look like this. 41 is less than 54. Another example would be 37 and 23. The answer would be 37 is greater than 23. It's that simple. Number 11. Vertical multiplication. If you find drawing is easier to figure out a math problem, then you can use this method. If you want to figure out 32 times 31, you need to break it down on paper. The 32 is written in red, the 31 is written in blue, backward. Next, try a long line for each number. Next, draw a dot where the lines intersect. Where the lines intersect, you need to count them in columns. When you have the numbers, you'd read them from right to left, making the answer 992. It might sound complicated, but it's easier than doing the actual math. Subscribe for more!